Hey, beautiful souls. I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. Welcome back. So it's taken me a good 45 minutes <laughs> to be able to sit here and start recording. Um, I've cried two times. <laughs> Thank you, Pluto. <laughs> like, literally cried two times. And um, it, it, you know, the depths that Pluto will take you, that's all I can say. Like, you had, like, literally, you get to the depths of your soul and go in. Man, that would really suck. You know what I'm saying? Like all of these things that are being brought to the surface um, was on a call earlier today about my website, you know, trying to get it migrated over to a new server. There's some things going on. Okay, that was my first indication, one, two, three, that okay, Mercury's starting to act up just a little bit, right? And then, here comes Pluto. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. And what I feel the most from Pluto is fear. Okay? Always being afraid of the dark, right? So, as those fears are coming up, we are literally going through feeling the emotion of, okay, why is this fear coming to the surface? Why is this coming up to be examined? Okay, what is it showing me? Should I be afraid of what's coming? Or is this residual, okay, energy that's needing to come out, right? The only way that it can really come out of the body, 222 on my clock, when we think about ascension, is to literally feel it, right? And being able to feel energy, like that's my superpower. I can feel, okay, the energy, right? So if it's being brought up to be felt, to be looked at, what's coming to the surface that's triggering that fear is that something that might need some love or is that something that is going to happen do you see what i'm saying like those that are very connected to the planets i'm starting to see that they're also feeling it they're also seeing the energy around them okay so, be mindful when these things are coming up. Some feel, okay, for instance, while we were working on the website, you know, she is a Capricorn Mars, and I am a Capricorn Venus, okay? So, I take that and I look at how the Pluto energy is affecting her. It's coming out in a more Mars way. And the Pluto energy for me is coming out in a more feminine way, right? Because Mars can be very direct, take action oriented, right? Feminine's gonna have to transmute and cleanse the other side of it right? And to me, that would be like feeling the energy of the planets and transmuting those fears. Now, I also feel fear creep up um, within the collective. So, it's been interesting to balance and go, okay, this is mine. This is not mine. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm picking up on. Because we're coming, like we're becoming so hyper attuned to the energies around us. We're becoming so hyper attuned to what's going on. So, you know, I feel you guys. I'm right there with you. Trust 
me. I feel ya. <laughs> All right, let's see what's being brought up. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. The energy is going to start changing as we get closer. The answers you need are coming. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Um, and then I get step out of your comfort zone. North node. Okay, and don't let your past hold you back. So, really feels like we're blending the nodes at this point. Because I get the North node and the South node. And, you know, there could be fear connected to not getting the answers. There could be fear of, what if this isn't the end? Okay? There could be fear connected to not being with your divine counterpart. Like, there's a lot of things that we're all going through and feeling at the exact same time because we're all feeling. We're all feeling. Mercury, we're all feeling. Pluto, but I really do feel like, like as those fears come up, like the only way that I can fully release it is to sit in it and go, okay, so if that happens, then so be it, you know? Really releasing the need to have answers, releasing any fear connected to a tough cycle not being over. Focus on the new things that you wanted to bring in. Focus on the North Node. You know, my North Node's in the 12th house. My North Node is about isolation, you know, being alone. <laughs> Venus is in my south. That can bring, you know, that can trigger fear for me. You know? Alright, one more. Let's see if I can get it. Idea, what's going on? The moon. I feel like shadow aspects are definitely coming to the surface. You can feel what's coming in, right? You can feel it coming in. Feel the ships coming in. All right, the first thing I notice, I've got three pages. I got the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Page of Swords is going to be the one that's screaming the loudest. So, to me, that, that's telling me where we're at in the mind. We've got Mercury showing up too, right? So, I've got the moon and the three of wands. Step out of your comfort zone. Really following the moon, following your intuition, following that deep knowing. I mean, I'll look at 
1001, the king and the queen as the sun and the moon. So really being able to hone into that feeling, right? And then I've got the hermit, the fool, and the page of cups. So it's like, I know I'm supposed to be leading the way. I know I'm supposed to be going in this direction. I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing, walking forward, taking that leap of faith, going towards something that's going to be fun and exciting, right? And then something happens. <laughs> Fella left out in the cold. Maybe a little conflict, right? Definitely had conflict. And then moving into the page of coins and the page of wands with the Wheel of Fortune right in the middle. You know, this is, this is destiny happening. Something destined. Because the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, that's, that's destined, right? And then I get the Two of Cups. So there's love destined to come in. Let go of the mind. Let go of the mind. You know, let go of holding on too tightly and really tapping into that youthful. I think that's why the pages are showing up. The pages are showing up to, to remind us to tap into that childlike, playful, fun, 1221 energy as ding as fears come up, right? Children are fearless. <laughs> I'm like, why is there so many pages? Why the pages? There's a message with the pages. Okay, children are fearless, right? So being able to tap into that energy as these things are brought up, because we're all feeling it. You know, going outside and playing, what makes your heart sing? What truly makes you happy? You know, what makes you happy? Standing on top of the water, playing music? Like, really, what makes you happy? And bringing more of that in, especially whenever um, these fears, these things, it has been one thing after another, literally, you know, and if I feel it and transmute it, <laughs> everybody else is too, you know what I mean? Like, I'm seeing it all. So... I'm having to take my own advice of getting back into that youthful, childlike, like vibration, energy, coming from a place of love, letting go, and staying in the flow. Even though I can feel what everybody else is feeling, you know, there's, yeah, damn, deep fear deep emotions, things that are really being brought to the surface, okay? I'm feeling it too. And really having to honor, okay, it's coming up. Okay, I need to look at it. And as soon as I do and I let go, <sighs> boom, <laughs> magic, 1441, okay? I'm transmuting as fast and as much as I possibly can. I love you guys. I see you. Um, if you need me, my website's got 
24 more hours of integration and then hopefully we'll be good to go and if you need me my email's below and i love you guys i'll see you soon bye